Black Cap and Garden Warbler songs are notoriously hard to distinguish. Both can contain mimicry, and they're quite varied too in terms of length and content, particularly in Black Cap. I find this most noticeable in early spring, when it's as if the recently returned male black caps are anxious to repeat the weird and wonderful sounds they've heard on their wintering grounds before they forget. By mid-May, most of them have settled into a more predictable pattern though, making it a bit easier to learn. I think of black cap and garden warbler songs as two different types of music. Black caps deliver a classical movement, often starting with scratchy chattering as the string section warms up, followed by an increasingly strong flute solo that swiftly builds to an abrupt finale. Garden warblers are jazz musicians. Their complex song shuttles quickly up and down the scales, shifting rapidly from thrush like notes to harsher ones. It lacks a clear melody, and both the scratchy start and flourishing finish of a black cap. It's sometimes likened to a bubbling brook, which I think works quite well when a garden warbler is delivering long song phrases, which can be over 10 seconds long, and with extremely short gaps in between.